I am back. I'm sorry about not making many videos lately. Like I said in the last video, I mean, yeah, the last video I posted yesterday or two days ago. It, I live in the upper part of the United States. So it's all snowy up here and not much you can do with paintball. But anyway, like I said, I was going to make a review on my new gun whenever I got it. Which I just got the new Etha today. Planet Eclipse Etha. It was for three ninety five. Used to be three fifty, three forty nine, but prices just went up today. Sadly, right before I get the gun, so I had to pay an extra fifty for it. But it's worth it though, because this gun's pretty nice so far. So when you un you're unboxing, you I already opened it. But when you're unboxing, you open it up, you find the manual, nice manual, colorful manual. Barrel cover, spare parts. I think there's just a whole bunch of O rings and stuff in there. Actually, no, there's actual parts. Grease, gun oil, a nice Allen key set. I took the big one out though because trying to take it out of here is pain in the butt. So tight in there, so I just took the big one out and put it under the lube. And then there's a two piece 15 inch barrel that comes with it. Decent barrel for a stock barrel. And then there's the gun. Oops, ASA system. By the way, the back thing that came with it, this cardboard, is a really thick cardboard, so it's pretty nice to keep on it. And this is like a plastic card, I mean, plastic case, like a nail gun case, I would think of it as. Sensitive trigger, sort of. But anyway, I'll put the barrel on now. I will be having a shooting video on this too, but now I just don't have any pants so I can't really make a shooting video. Should be a decent barrel for the length of it is. The grip feels really nice too. I've held a Ego before, and I kind of like this grip better than an Ego grip. And now I'll show you the inside of the gun, or like inside the board. I'm not gonna take any chances actually taking the whole gun apart. I haven't read much of the manual so far, and I don't much know about much about the gun, but the board so far looks pretty nice. Nine volt battery, you need for it. Switches are right here. There's an A, B, C, and D is down here. And D is for tournament lock settings. When you turn it on, it should be blue. Green me, I mean, yellow means. There's no ball in, in like the breech, 
and when there's a ball in, it should be blue. I'm not sure if it should be flashing or not. So I just have my finger in there. And also, there's like a guide right inside the grip paper that tells you which one. Red means fringe mode, firing mode. Then green means cat mode, modes. Um, blue means eyes off. Purple means dwell, and light blue means debounce. So this is like the tournament setting. I meant tournament settings, but just the settings in general. Just hold the power button to turn it off. Wait until it's red. You let go. So far, just having this gun for like a couple hours now, I've just been looking at it and playing with it and stuff. I think it's a pretty decent gun for just $300. I mean, not $300, but $395. Probably is a little bit worse. I mean, not worse, but not as, a little bit not as good as the e -Tech 4 and 3. But I still think it's a pretty decent gun. Pretty good gun that plenty of clips I made. And uh, take apart. As I've seen on other YouTube videos, I haven't tried it yet, but you're supposed to put an Allen key in here and twist it a little bit, then you should turn it on your own. And this is not opening. So this is too small and this is too big. What is up with this? No. I'm sorry I haven't even tried doing this yet, but you just twist it a little bit, then you can twist it with the rest of your hand. You know, with your fingers, hand, whatever. Then soon enough you can be able to pull it out. Should be already greased already. Here's a part right here. And then there's another bolt in here too. Spring. Maybe there is another bolt. Right here it is. Let's put this in the piston. Put this back in, and then you should be, you don't probably shouldn't need the Allen key at all. All you have to do is just twist it back in with your hand. And as I said, I will be having a shooting video later, and I will put a link to this video at the end of the video, the sh um, so you can just go straight to the link and watch the shooting video if you want. So, that's it for now. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll keep you updated on paintball stuff with me and the only Atomic Nukes. I mean, uh, yeah, the only Atomic Clan. And so, bye. Also, rate, like, and subscribe.